Hi everyone, Heidi here from Edible Image Printing. I wanted to put together a little video to show you guys how easy it can be to peel your edible toppers. Now I know in the summer months it can be a little bit more tricky. That's simply because of the extreme weather conditions, the higher humidity levels, they do cause a bit of um, moisture to be absorbed into the edible toppers, but it doesn't mean that they can't be used. So I wanted to put this video together to show you exactly what can be done. The first method that I'm going to show you is the oven technique how to get the moisture to be absorbed out of the topper using heat from the oven. Now, a lot of people stress that if you put the toppers into the oven that they're going to melt. They don't. The only thing that can happen is if you leave them in too long or if your oven's too hot, they can go really hard, so which that's what you don't want because you still want to be able to mold the toppers to the surface of the cake. So it is something you need to keep an eye on, but at the same time, it can be really easy and it will make peeling the toppers a piece of cake. Now, you make sure that you keep the topper in the sealed plastic sleeve when you're storing it. You can keep it on the counter, in a drawer, don't put it in the fridge or the freezer, and don't leave it in the sun. Simply keep it in the plastic sleeve sealed. Now, I've preheated the oven to around 100 fan assisted. You don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold, otherwise it's not going to do the job. And you want to have the fan assist so that it can really absorb the moisture out of the topper. Get a baking tray, put some baking paper on it, and you're ready to go. Simply take the topper out. Here we're going to be working on a round topper. As you can see, it is the middle of summer, beautiful weather, but causes difficulty with peeling the toppers. It's just not coming off. It's really not going to come off easily. The more you mess with it, the harder it is to get off. The edges can tear and it can start to look ugly. So don't mess around with it too much. Simply put it on the baking tray. Make sure that the image is flat and you pop it into the oven. Now you only need to put it into the oven for literally 5 to 10 minutes. Every oven varies, so just keep an eye on it and make sure that you um, keep checking on it. If you bend the backing sheet and you can see it's starting to come off easily, you're good to go. So we're just going to leave that for 5 minutes and we'll check on it. Okay, it's been about 5 minutes, so I'm going to check on the topper now. What I'm going to do is open the oven, I'm going to lift up the edge, and if I bend it and it starts to come away easily, I think it's ready to go. It's not too hard, it's not too soft, it'll still be able to be moldable. And what I do, as you can see, the edge is coming up really easily, slide my hand underneath and it's ready to go. The top is off, I can place it on the cake, simple, the edges haven't been frayed or torn from messing around with them. It's still soft enough to be able to put on a cake and mold around the surface, but it's not sticky. It's really easy to work with. Simple, simple piece of cake. What I'm going to show you now is this can be done with any of the toppers. That was the round. Let's have a look at the A4 topper. Okay, Very popular um, cake topper for the rectangular boxed cake. A lot of people use these, and it's the same sort of thing. We try to peel it. It's not really coming off. In the winter months you'll find it just peels right off. In the summer, as we mentioned, it's a little bit more difficult. All I'm going to do is the oven's still going, the baking tray's still in there. Just going to pop that in. And we're going to wait another five minutes for that to be ready. In the speed of another five minutes, I'm going to check on the A4 topper to see if it's ready. See it start to peel away quite easily. Once again, just going to peel it, get my finger underneath, pull it away, and there you go. As you can see, it's come away. It's still easily moldable to put around something or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. It's actually even in a state right now where you can actually cut it. What I do recommend is cutting it out beforehand and putting it in the oven. Um, but even so, this can then be molded, it can be put around the cake, it can put it on the cake. It's pretty much ready to go. It's still very easy to be able to work with. As you can see, it doesn't even stick back onto the plastic sheet. Okay, it's come off away really easily and that's good to go. Now, what I recommend, highly, is when working with the cupcakes. Alright. The oven technique is definitely the answer, okay? We've got 30 cupcakes on here, 30 cupcake toppers. And if you have to try and peel them all, 
Without using this technique, it can be really difficult. You see they're not coming away easily. Now putting them in the oven is going to dry them out and they'll simply all pop off as little discs that you can then work with. It's a really, really good technique for being able to get a lot off like this, especially if you're working with big corporate clients and you have a lot to do. You're going to want to work in the oven. Literally just place them in the oven one after the other, peel them off and you're ready to go. So once again, the oven's still warm. We're just going to pop that in there for five or so minutes and it'll be good to go. Okay, so once again, it's been about five minutes. Now keep in mind, that's based on my oven. Your oven might be different, so you might need to check on it after three, month, three minutes. It might take actually about seven or eight minutes. So you just need to go in, you need to make sure that you bend the backing sheets. If they start to come away easily, you're good to go. If not, leave them for longer. Let me check mine. Alright. This time I'm going to take it out with the baking paper because I want to actually bend this over and put it onto the baking sheet. Now as you can see, I'm just bending it and they're just falling off, alright? It couldn't be easier, okay? I'm sure some of you are going, wow, look at that, if only I'd known this sooner. They've literally all just fallen off of this, even actually fall onto the floor. They're little discs, look at that. Too easy to work with, okay? You can actually put them onto the cupcakes now. You've got all of them, basically little discs. They can still be bent and molded, okay? Now when you're working with numbers, what you would do is you take those out and you put the next load in. You're ready to go. As you're putting these on the cupcakes, the others are getting done, you bring them out, you can put them on, all right? Don't leave them lying out for too long. Don't leave them overlapping and touching each other because if it's a really hot, humid day, they can start to stick together. So I hope this has really helped some of you. I know that um, some of you have really battled to be able to get them off. But I hope this visual will be able to show you that at the end of the day, the plastic backing sheet does not need to be your enemy. You can get them off. You can work with edible toppers any season. We're based here on the Gold Coast. We have extreme humidity and it's still too easy to work with. I hope that helps. Thanks.